the most useless artist in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> The most useless artist in Kenya, KRG the Dunkey. Dani likuwa ni mewawon. Jema ananga talent. Ana talent. Kazi yake tu ni kuonge ufala. Kama mse ya kona periods. Chance, son. Okay, so guys, welcome to yet another episode of the PK Show. It's been a while, but at least tunaendelea vizuri na i thank everyone kwa sababu ya subscribers and uh, yeah we are growing kama the pk show family so today ni come with yet another episode na kama kawaida of course it's all about entertainment tunafanyanga vitu tofauti tofauti kwenye hii industry mradi tu tuweze kuenjoy na kuburudika so right today tunafanya about uh, tunafanya about uh, music industry ya Kenya ama tunaangalia kusiana na maswale ya mziki wa Kenya ili tujue umefika wapi uko sawa ama uko sawa um, some of the questions that i'm going to tackle today uh, ni zangu but others of course zimetoka kwa trend yenye inaendelea about music industry ya Kenya ndio tujue if we are growing na kama we are not growing basi shidi kwa wapi and what can we do ili kuhakikisha kwamba we are growing So the first question uh, I have a couple of questions yeah na nitakuwa nachukua random so ile swali yenye mimi nitakuwa napatana nalo ndilo najibu kama kawaida of course unajua hata tukifanya the pick issue about my life huwa nasema wasewa nitumie maswali yenye wangetaka mimi niseme my views kuihusu and uh, yeah kati ya the first question is um, kati ya clean lyrics and dirty lyrics gani usel Kenya kabla mambo ichemuke hapa nataka tupige pause kidogo kati ya clean lyrics kwa ngoma na feel okay juu tunaongea kweli in kenya basically in kenya msi msi akimba zile dirty lyrics za katikati eh huwa zina sell si eti ziwe mbaya sana na pia usiimbe clean lyrics sana Kenyans will not like it eh? wanataka hizi ngoma ambazo ziko na lyrics chafu ati niko na pesa kuliko babako chance son you know like sad songs eh ambazo msee atakiti chini aanze ku criticize but by the end of the day msee akikriticize ngoma yako itakuwa imeenda itakuwa imeenda by the time imfikie uh, ina maana kwamba kuna mahali imepita and uh, yeah so in Kenya basically dirty lyrics zina sell kuliko clean lyrics kwa hivyo kama wewe ni msanii you know what to do nani <laughs> likuwa <laughs> nimewawon another question kuna wasanii kuna wasanii humble na kuna wengine utajwa wenye kibri uongea kwa industry uh, kwa industry vile vile inafaa so wewe unge follow wapi kama unge kwa, kwa industry vile inafaa kama ningekuwa kwa industry kuna wale wasi uh, wenye utajua kwamba they are humble sijui Kenya tutataja nani mwenye ni humble uh, but uh, for kibri i feel that um, with Kenyan industry venye iko afadhali tu msania kwa na kiburi you know you can be prosecuted for that uh, better be like the bahatis they are called there kwa mse kitwa ngumu uh, otherwise uh, ukikaa chini wasi watakukanyagia You remember when you were going to sell calligraph jones like this guy doesn't care wewe ukimtukana na atakutukana atakufesa atakuf kama utamfesa atakufesa so na feel mimi ningekuwa kwa industry venye nafaa kama musician singekuwa humble at home sema pita the humble one to the hell mimi singekuwa namna hiyo uh, kwa sababu najua wa Kenya ukikaa kama nyonge wanakukanyaga mpaka hapa juu but uh, ukiwa na kibri pia wao watakuheshimu so ni lazima muniheshimu lazima ni watukane eh, ukinitusi na kutusi ukinigonga na kugonga onda uoge wacha mchezo msi yupi watene una feel amekuwa consistent get ready get ready get ready get ready mm. msi wa kitamu mwenye na feel amekuwa consistent okay kwanza msi kama jua kali amekuwa consistent msi kama nimbles amekuwa consistent but our say ni wale wako tu ni consistent but wamepoa unaelewa na kuna wasiudhani ukiwa consistent inalipa no unaweza kuwa tu na jina wewe ni msanii wa kitambo unaimba but aziendi so na films wa kitambo mwenye mimi naweza pick mwenye bado ngoma zake zinaenda poa 
I think meja. Na na ana, analipa kwa nini? Ama music yake inalipa kwa nini? Inalipa juu ame change na industry. Ukiangalia wasi kama nameless. Kama nameless eh? Wanajifanya wanalinda jina. In, in this industry ukisema unalinda jina mbona unaangalia vinye life yako itaenda ama vinye watu watakuangelelea au utapata kitu. So mejaa like wamekuwa kiongea vibaya juu ni msiwa kitambo miaka inasonga na wanasema nimba lyrics chafu but niambie kati ya nameless kuongea tu kweli kati ya mejaa jua kali ukiambiwa uite mmoja uite mmoja kwa show yako utaita nani so obvious utaita mejaa but wasio atakuonesha vinye wewe msia naimba vitu chafu but ita jua kali kwa show yako na uite mwingine ite mejaa on the same day alafu niambie nani ambaye atalipa poa nani ambaye show yake itaenda wasi wengi so it's obvious hata kama wewe ni legend kwa hii kwa hii industry lazima uende na vinye uh, industry iko like change usikuwe kama mtu like you know kwa sababu this is the style that i started with staki kuangusha watu wa kitambo no man au ase hawata kulipa industry ndio itakulipa na kizazi cha leo kita kulipa kulingana na vitu vyenye unawapea. So meja, obvious meaning ga pick meja. Uh, nini nafanya Kenyan music is grow. <laughs> nini nafanya Kenyan music is grow. Surely. I think uh, it's the musicians themselves. Ni wasanii wenyewe. Wao ndio wanafanya Kenyan music is grow. Hawachangamshi game. Game imepoa. Game imepoa. Wanaimba tu support Kenyan music but uh, they are not doing enough. So there is no way mse mwingine anaweza changamsha game. It's only the Kenyan artists. So that is the reason why tunabaki pale pale. Continue. Let me go to another question. Uh, let me pick another question. Na kama wangu na swali yenye ungependa ni jibu of course uliweza nikia hapo kwa comment section ama uende kwa the picky show pale Instagram. Alafu of course tutakuwa tunajibu maswali yako. Ati um, What's your take on Kenyan gospel? Kenyan gospel, I think tuko 50-50. Kenyan gospel in number trash. Jesus is Lord. Ngoma zina make sense. That's my take like um Wase kama Guardian Angel. Wase kama Gloria Muliro. I think how ndio wameshikilia Kenyan industry ya music eh? ministry kama vinyo wao wanaita. Continue. But uh, wasi kama timeless Noel, wasi kama Jabidi, wasi kama size 8. Na of course wanasema kwa, kwa gospel ndani, but watu kama hao ndio wanaharibia gospel ya Kenya. Cuz like right now ukiingia kwa YouTube channel ya msi kama Jabidi utapata like ni gospel anaimba but huyo msi vitu anaimba hapa hata vieleweki. Moji the same moji na yeye aeleweka ngi. Leo anatoka ngoma ka hit gospel Kenya kana make sense tomorrow anatoa kitu hadi unashindwa what the fuck is this hmm? we are mimba nini atina ni gospel so Kenyan gospel iko chini uh, 5050 garden angel ndio ameshikilia glory mlero Yunis Njeri na ni mwingine ona tu venye na struggle ku mention David Wanda hmm? in fact was wa secular ndio wanaimbanga ngoma hit za gospel in Kenya what's are those about Steve simple boy <laughs> Steve simple boy i think uh, Steve simple boy uh, ni mse talented okay initially tulikuwa tunadhani ni joker but for real this guy is talented but mse wangu kiatu wasi wanyama like wangu kiatu wanyama uh, management za ufe leo mse but uh, is talented akishika wasi wenye atamshikilia poa nadhani itakuwa poa ama akipata mado ye mwenyewe kwa na management yake which nayo itakuwa ngumu so kutetea Steve Simple Boy ni ngumu cha cha hiyo nimalize haraka mm, gava ina support music vile vile nafa no kenyan 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 government does not support kenyan music vile ambavyo ina style uh, in fact kenyan go, kenyan government Uh, in most cases inakuanga ya kuwa talent hii imeenda 
Hii imeenda. Uh, Cuz um, you will only see uh, Kenyan government ikiri act time yenye msee amemba ngome iko na lyrics zenye wao wana feel. Ni mbaya like there is this guy and it was Ezekiel. Uh, that you will only see that guy uh, wakati ana anasema oh hii ngoma ni mbaya, hii ngoma ingefaa kutoka. And then unashindwa wase the same kama hao wagavao kwa wapi time wase wanemba nyimbo ambazo ziko poa like wakati mtu anatoa good music wana kwanga wapi wa congratulate nilikuwa napenda sana huyu uh, prize wa Tanzania like that guy alikuwa na appreciate akiona watu wakiimba ngoma kali like kama ngoma imekuwa kali ana support like anasema uh, like hii ngoma imetoka poa but come to Kenyan government they will never do that they will never do that watakuja tu time wanasema msisikilize ngoma fulani eh watoto wenu wasisikilize ngoma fulani hiyo ngoma inawaharibia so Kenyan government does not support Kenyan music na waenda wakasikia vibaya huko uh, between bongo and Kenyan style of music which one do you think has the most following it's obvious bongo music it's obvious cuz our say wana dominate mpaka our trends Hmm? Sio kina zuchu lava lava akitoa ngoma huko. In a trend Kenya ni kama huku ni kwao. So it's obvious the bongo music and pia wasanii wetu mnajua hivyo. And you know that because pia nyinyi ni mafans wao. Mnaelewa? Sio sisi mafans shida. Mnaelewa? Sasa msi kama ulipozee anakwanga namba 1 kusema eti tunadharau ngoma zao uh, we don't support Kenyan music but you will still hear the same guy kwa ngoma zake akitaja mademwa Tanzania badala ya kutaja wa Kenya ati hatutasikia anataja we masepe tu mama chuchuma chuchuma mm? like anataja at nandi my africa nandi yeah. anataja homa dem yet in Kenya we have good girls ambao at least msia na zaimbia hata fadhali otlebron alitoa kenyan girl uh, kenyan girl so uniambie mi kama fan nita nitatoa wapi nguvu ya kuitisha chuchuma ya hamon ya wilipoze na kuna chuchuma ya rivani yet wow they are not proud about their own music so it's obvious the bongo music uh, pia nyinyi mnajua hivyo sio mimi nimejiamulia uh, mnajua hivyo kusema kweli <laughs> Ah uh, let's get to another one why do Kenyans love bongo music more than Kenyan music I think that's the obvious nimejibu hapo kwa hiyo ah uh, bong, bongo bongo ni tamu na wanazip okay like like uh, unajua ukitaka wase wapende kitu yako pia waipende bongo people love their music na sisi tunaona kitu yenye mwenyewe anapenda ni kitu tamu but uh, uh, wa, wetu hawajipendi so ndio tuna go for that one cuz that sells utaona msee wa Tanzania anapiga masho mengi Kenya kuliko msee wetu wa Kenya na sisi eti ni, ni, ni si tumetaka wao ndio wamekaa msani mgani msani mgani wa Kenya usupport wengine sana mm, from my own understanding msani wa Kenya mwenye na supporting wa sisi wengine wasani wengine i think hata kama sijui ngoma zinaweza fika tano za kali Kali Graf Jones I think this guy naweza mpea credit kwa kusupport wasanii wengine Like this guy ana supporting wasanii wengine wana wana like mse ana, ana mtoa tu like look at what he did to Masauti Look at what he did to Ndovunku like kuna wasanii wengi kali ametoa like Kiro tu safi na sieti amewasign Sieti amewasign So na feel msani kali ndiye ata, ata, ata kali graf jones atachukua kura yangu hapo sana tukama ba ba, ba hata kusign leo alafu kesho atakufungia youtube remember what he did to peter blessing hmm? amemsign na jumse wamekosana sasa mse atatoa ngoma tena alafu niambie ni nini atatoa ngoma tena akitoa ngoma na ka block hmm? sasa useme wili paul wili paul na wale wase na kusign alafu nilipe noanda Asain wanaume. Yeah. Mm, and maybe from uh, ah, Nikal Graf Jones will pull azi. Wasani wa Kenya wako na do. <laughs> Asani wa Kenya wako na do. Asani. Nyi mko na do. Asani wa Kenya wana do. Labda wawili tu. Eh, labda wawili tu. Oh,
Sikia wapi? Ah uh, between Caligraph Jones na Octo. Na ni mkali. Between Kali na Octo. Ah uh, Kali of course. Uh, because uh, nimesema at least naweza jua ngoma kama nne za huyu msee but uh, ukitopizo zi sijui hata anything yake so najua kuna wasi wanasema hiyo ni legend legend na kuwa ukali ni vitu viwili tofauti look at what diamond did to alkiba alkiba ni msee mze, but sasa nani ana rock the airwaves so calligraph jones yeah that guy og must be re- respected eh? so you have to respect the og octo weka huko tu majuu Maybe uko anakutambua. Who is the first raising superstar right now? Ah, in Kenya. Eh hey, tuko na wengi. Tuko na tuko nao na wenye tunawa support by the tuko na B Classic. Yeah. Kamu kama 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 hujasikiliza B Classic then you are missing a lot. Tuko na Father Mo. Father Mo. This guy anakuja vizuri. He is the next major by the way. Na wewe kama <laughs> kama unabishi endo kapambane na hali zako then uh, tuna vijana barubaru ya yeah. vijana barubaru au ni wasi wana wana grow tena wanakuja na speed sana hey, come look at this the most useless artist in kenya <laughs> <laughs> the most useless artist in kenya krg the donkey na nilikuwa nimewawon jamaa ana talent ana talent kazi yake tu ni kuongea fala kama mse yako na periods chance son who is the most underrated artist underrated for sure b classic b classic is the most underrated artist in kenya like this guy deb huyu jamani mkali ni mkali ni mkali yani hata sitasema mengi sitasema mengi b classic is the most underrated artist in kenya Uh, another one top female artists mm. top female artists in Kenya right now mm-hmm. i think i'll choose between it will be difficult for me to choose between jovial and uh, nadia mukami like these two ladies for sure wanajikaza so between the two mmoja ako top <laughs> na wakubali wote hao ndio mimi na feel wako hapa juu nikiwa na show yenyewe naita mademo wa Kenya i'll co- i'll have to consider the two But me support sana Jovial though Nadia siwezi sema sim kali ndio maana nimeweka hapo wakiwa wawili hivyo Mhm who do you think is the most popular ah huh? it's obvious Tilla Brown is the most popular artist in Kenya right now is the best music musician we have is the is the yeye ndiye kingpin yeye ndiye baba wa music in Kenya. Yeye ndiye ako juu. Do you think Kiki ni poa in the industry? Kiki Cloud Chasing. Mm, I'll just say Cloud Chasing is good. Okay for me. Najua kuna wasi wenye who feel like Cloud Chasing is not good. <clears throat> But kama itajipa, like kama itasaidia hiyo music yako kwenda ama content yako ama whatever you are doing kwenda viral. Kiki is good. Only that in Kenya we are not mature enough. Tukianza kiki tunaichukulia anga personal. Personal. Hm? Personal sana. Look at kiki za Tanzania and I'm not ashamed nikwape example na hiyo. Hawa sio wanatuanga kiki na ni kiki nasalia tu kwa music peke yake. Underground wasio wanapendana. So the same. Kuna time ilikuwa imekuja poa but uh, wasio walianza kuchukiana mpaka wakapelekana kwa koti, you know, yan there. So kiki ni point industry but in Kenya hatujeelewa venye inafaa kufanywa. But ya tuko hapo, tunaendelea hapo. Between Willpool and Bahati, who rocks the streets than the other? Okay, kwanza nimesema Ot LeBron ndiye kuongoza but now between these two, Bahati and Willpool. Uh-huh. Who rocks the streets than the other? Hmm. Hmm. Willy Paul. Willy Paul. I think here. Yeah. Willy Paul. Okay. Willy Paul. Willy Paul ameshika streets kushinda bahati kidogo. Why do you think gospel artists shift to secular music? Kwa nini wasanii wa gospel eti kutoka kwa gospel kuingia kwa secular? 
one is lack of support najua kenyan okay gospel gospel ministry na kwangu of course kuimbia mungu but you know these people wanitaji wanitaji pesa pia kenyan gospel ailipi let me tell you for free ailipi because wasee wanaenda hata crusade alafu msa anakuambia mungu atakubariki ama anakulipa dau tatu for sure last the other day tuliona justina sokawa kilia and uh, we were sh- shocked by the things that she said eh wanaenda crusades juu ni toa wapi alafu msa analipa 2k nini itafanya huyo mse asitoke kwa gospel anze kuimba secular mali atenda kwa club alipo 100k so mimi na feel hiyo the main reason yenye hawa se utoka we shift kutoka kwa gospel kuingia kwa secular and if that is the reason i would support them mimi ningewa support tu bora wewe mse uje relationship yako na Mungu ikwaje but by the end of the day wanatafuta unga wanatafuta man wapi ambapo pesa utapata vizuri secular hapo ndipo pesa za Kenya ziko on this one sijui kama hii ya mwisho nitaelewa musicians to uh, wasanii wenye wanafanya clean content ya Kenya in Kenya kuna wengi kuna wengi that is a common question yenye na feel waseni wengi Otile Brown Masauti Eh, waseni wengi wenye anafanya clean content but in Kenya kutafuta mzee anafanya clean content ni ngumu ni ngumu na ni because ya industry na mimi nimesema si walaumu in Kenya ukitaka music yako iende kama hawatakubali clean content piga kitu mbaya then see wenye takua so guys that is all for today's speak show on this episode kama uko na maoni yote nipe hapo kwenye 0709091143 tafadhali msasibishane na mimi kama utatoa your thoughts toa hapo mimi sina ubaya but after all kama unataka kusikia vibaya tunasema kasikia vibaya uko see you another day bye bye